Hello and welcome to this Learn Learn Python tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add items to database tables. So, in the previous tutorial, I showed you how we could create databases and add a table, which we've got here. And now we've got a table called Contacts, in which we're going to put uh, and we're going to add people. Now, here is a um, this is a DB Browser, and we could, if you wanted, just add a um, add, add a contact here, new record. And we could add someone in here, so we could put like Bob uh, 45, etc., etc., um, which could add to the table. But we want to know how are we going to do this using Python, so that we can create Python programs where it automatically adds to the database. So let's get started. You're going to need to open up a um, shell again, a command prompt again on Windows. Just click on the uh, click, right click on the Start menu. And go to command prompt in uh, Linux it's going to be different uh, but you just open up a terminal and we need to go to the correct folder and this is important make sure you navigate to the correct folder where the database is located so I'll go to my, uh, oops CD desktop CD desktop And once you're in the correct folder, we'll open up Python. So, as per the previous tutorial, we need to import SQLite 3. And this will go get the module that uh, deals with connecting and editing databases. And then we need to create a database connection. So, db equals SQLite, oops. 3.connect and the name of the database that you're going to connect to. Just be careful here, make sure that that is exactly correct. The reason being is that if that's not correct, then it will it will connect to, well, create a brand new database basically, um, and you won't realize it won't come up with an error if that file doesn't exist. So there we go. So we've created a connection to the database and we need to create a cursor object. So C equals db dot cursor. There we go. Brilliant. So there's our cursor connection, and we're now ready to add things to the database. But before we do that, we're going to need four items to add. Uh, you could use an input here, but I'm just going to create some variables for the sake of speed. So there you go. So name equals uh, Richard. Age equals um, 200 because I'm really old. There we go. Email. There we go. So I've got four variables there and all the contents are ready to add. And what, what we need to do now is in order to add them, we first need to wrap those four into uh, a, a tuple. I will call this tuple entry. And they need to correspond to the order in which we put them in, it needs to correspond to the column order in the database table. So here, the contacts table, it goes name, age, email, telephone. Otherwise, they'll get put in the wrong place. So name, age, email, telephone. There we go. Oops. Not typed today. There we go. So we're now wrapped up into a tuple, an entry tuple, ready to add. And in order to do this now, we need to use the SQL statement, the execute, uh, and it's going to be an insert uh, statement that we're going to use. So c.execute, and this is where we do insert into, and then the name of your table that you're going to insert into. value space and then we do question 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 uh, we do four question marks here because there are four items we're going to add and there are four columns that we're going in the database to add to and then what we do is we close that and we do just like that so 
c.execute is going to execute using the cursor, insert into that table, and those are the values, question, 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 question. And we're saying, okay, those four question marks are going to be coming from the entry tuple here. This is the best way to do it. The only way you could do it if you wanted to is you could do it here, where instead of putting the um, question mark, you could do uh, come out of it and do a plus, and then do a bit more, and then go back into the string and do another plus. So you use string concatenation to put all those things together, but that's dangerous. It's very insecure. Um, it allows for what's known as an SQL injection attack, which we don't want to allow. So this is the safe way of doing it. There you go. And it should execute against that table. Uh, let's have a look. Oh, database is locked. Okay, if you do get that database is locked, which I just did there, let's just try again. Let's just close that. Close. There you go. Just close down uh, DB browser. Um, so try not to have the browser. Sometimes with a DB browser there, if um, I, as you can see before, I was trying to enter something, it's just locked it. So just close DB browser or close the connection. And now we can reopen it. So hopefully here it's uh, executed, it's inserted those in. Now what we need to do is we need to commit those changes to the database as well. So do db.commit. There we go. And now hopefully that has we browse the data. There it is. So it has now added the data to the database. Perfect. And then final thing in your program, if you finished with the connection, is just do a db.close. Oops, there we go. And then we can exit. There you go. For those people who are using Linux uh, to check if your connection is in, uh, to connect if your, to check if your contact has been added, you would do SQLite 3 space and then the name of the database. There we go. And then you can just do a straight S, uh, select command, select star from contacts. Oops. Ah, okay. Yeah, I made a mistake here. What I've done there, classic mistake, is I've connected to a non-existent database. So if you look here, that's pretty classic. If it says no such table uh, exists, contacts, just check that you have actually connected to the correct database. The database I wanted to connect to here was test1.db. A classic mistake. So I'm quite glad that I did it actually, so you know. Select star from contacts. Hey, there we go. And there it is. And we've been added to the contacts table and it is all sorted. There you go. Thank you very much.